You haven't got time to sit down in front of the fire right now. The window doesn't open. Even if it did, you wouldn't want to open it with the skunk ape still out there. Looking out the window, you see the dark forest outside. It makes you glad to be in here. It's the cabin's somewhat shabby wooden front door. While you do have a slightly uneasy feeling, you'd rather see what you can find out about this Jed character before leaving. You can just walk through the doorway. It's no use. Well, I guess I should have told you not to come in here when I said make yourself at home. Wait a minute. Those were your drugs in the skunk ape's lair? That's right. I was wondering how you'd manage to get away. Usually the skunk ape manages to protect my stash from anyone who gets too close. So you've been using the skunk ape to guard your drugs? How? It's pretty simple, really. I go into the city and steal the drugs for myself off the ships in the port. Then I hide them out here in the middle of the woods where the police wouldn't think to come look. One day I happened to find the skunk ape's lair. It was going to do me in until I remembered I had some cocaine in my pocket. Don't tell me you. Yeah, I gave the skunk ape a little taste and he loved it. From that day forward he was like a big stinky pet. That's so cruel. So I took advantage and started using his cave. I even managed to get an electronic collar on him so I could give him a little shock if he gets out of control. Or if I need to give him a call. Like right now. You're a sick bastard, you know that? I've been called worse. Now say hello to my little friend. That didn't do anything. Get out of here! Shoot! What? There's not much you can say right now. Well, that outcome wasn't very good. Let's try that again, shall we? Well, I guess I should. Wait a minute. That's a part. have no interest in the cocaine. Leave it alone. It's no use talking to- That's the second largest pile of cocaine you've ever seen. Jed is looking at you with a crazed grin on his face. It's the skunk ape. It's huge, smelly, and looks angry enough to rip someone's head off. You better think quickly, or it'll be yours. Well, that out. Well, I. There's no way you'd win in a wrestling match versus the Skunk Ape. You'd rather keep your hands to. It's no use talking to. Thinking quickly, you lunge towards the table. Ben, you're back already? What happened? It's a long story, but the skunk ape won't be a problem anymore. What about Rick? He... didn't make it. What a shame. 
Well, I guess you've done your job, so I'll write you a check for your services. Thanks, Ernie. I'd stick around, but I'm in a desperate need of a shower. All right, Ben. Take care of yourself. So that's how I broke into the whole paranormal investigating thing. And managed to survive it. Needless to say, the next few months would be filled with more mysteries and danger than I ever thought possible. But those are stories for another time. Senor, I have good news. We found another one. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs>